Today, we are going to talk about two more plant substances that boost activity of brown adipose tissue. The first is Amur cork tree bark, with the scientific name of Philodendron amurans. It is native to northern China, northeast China, and Korea. It is considered invasive in many parts of North America. The state of Massachusetts lists it as a noxious weed. The oil contains a variety of biologically active substances, including saponins, coumarins, flavonoids, and alkaloids, including berberine, which concerns us. This article appeared in the journal, Cell Death and Disease. As you probably already know, brown adipose tissue is specialized to combust energy by non-shivering thermogenesis, and is mediated, or brought about, by mitochondrial uncoupling protein 1. Many researchers have shown that considerable functional brown adipose tissue exists in human adults. The activity of human brown adipose tissue is typically lower for those who are older, have elevated BMI, as well as elevated fasting blood glucose. The study described in this article showed that a four-month berberine intervention significantly decreased body weight and liver fat content in patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The study shows that berberine concurrently increased the mass and activity of brown adipose tissue. In this study, 12 mildly overweight non-alcoholic fatty liver disease patients were recruited. 10 participants finished the follow-up examination, and 2 withdrew from the study after the first cold-activated scanning. The patients underwent cold-activated scanning to determine their brown adipose tissue mass both before and after their berberine intervention. The participants were required to maintain their previous exercise and dietary habits. The results of the scans show an increase of brown adipose tissue after the berberine intervention. The average volumes of brown adipose tissue in a couple of areas increased from 2.6 to 3.2 cubic centimeters, and from 14.1 to 26.5 cubic centimeters. And, the activity of the brown adipose tissue increased from 103.1 to 228.2 standard units. In addition, the average oral temperature of the subjects increased from 36.3 to 36.5 degrees Celsius, indicating a mildly enhanced heat production and energy expenditure. All were statistically significant increases. Now, a couple of graphs showing more results from the berberine intervention. In the graph with letter F, we see that nearly all the patients lost weight, and, the downward slope shows that the brown adipose tissue activity increased for those subjects who lost a greater percentage of their initial body weight. And, in the graph labeled G, we see that most patients decreased their insulin resistance, and the downward slope of the line shows that the degree of insulin resistance decreases more when the brown adipose tissue activity increases. So, the use of one component of a more cork bark, berberine looks very encouraging. Now we'll look at another helpful plant. Now we are going to look at white Korean ginseng, with the scientific name of Panax ginseng. It is also known as Asian ginseng, Chinese ginseng, or just plain Korean ginseng. It is a slow-growing perennial plant that grows in the mountains of East Asia. Ginseng has been reported to help with body weight management. In this next study, the authors focused on the potential modulating effect of ginseng on gut microbiota, aiming to identify specific strains and their metabolites, especially long-chain fatty acids, which brings about the anti-obesity effects of ginseng. Part of the study involved looking at the gut microbiota, as acclimation to cold temperatures has been found to modify the microbiota and enhance host metabolism. Again, in this study mice were used. Each group of mice were fed a normal chow diet, or a high-fat diet with 60% of calories coming from fat. In addition, ginseng extract, bacterial strains, or fatty acids were administered by gavage, that is, by a tube directly entering the stomach during the experimental period, starting from the age of 4 to 6 weeks. Some mice were treated with antibiotics, after which gut bacteria of E. faecalis strains were administered by gavage. Mice here were fed a high-fat diet. 
One group was treated with ginseng extract for eight weeks. The ginseng extract significantly decreased body weight gain as seen in graph A. Also, in chart B we see that fat mass was significantly affected while lean body mass showed no significant differences. This is what we want to see. Losing lean body mass means we lose muscle, which itself burns significant calories. And, losing lean body mass, reducing your metabolism, is what happens in many low-calorie diets. In addition, in graphs D and E, we see that the overall energy expenditure was significantly higher in mice receiving the ginseng extract. And, in chart E, we see that in a low-temperature environment the mice receiving the ginseng extract were significantly better able to generate internal heat in order to maintain their body temperature. Ginseng extract alters microbiota composition in mice. The charts compare the proportion of family, genus, and species levels of E. faecalis detected in mice droppings. Some studies indicate that it is this alteration in gut microbiota that indirectly activates brown adipose tissue. To test this idea, we'll compare mice fed a high-fat diet with mice fed a high-fat diet plus gut bacteria, E. faecalis. Again, we see results similar to the ginseng extract group. Here, the group given the gut bacteria showed significantly less weight gain. Also the fat mass was most reduced while the lean body mass was not affected. The mice given the gut bacteria were better able to generate heat in a cold environment to maintain their body temperature, and they expended more energy. In addition, oral gavage of E. faecalis significantly altered a variety of long-chain fatty acids. Intriguingly, we found a very high amount of meristoleic acid in the E. faecalis treatment, 12.3 times the amount found without the treatment. And, meristoleic acid significantly increased UCP1 expression. Overall, in this chain of events, ginseng increases gut bacteria E. faecalis, which in turn increases meristoleic acid, which significantly increases UCP1, which activates brown adipose tissue. Now, that may be more than you wanted to know. But, it is sometimes interesting to delve into the science behind weight loss. No matter if you want to try ginseng, or a more cork bark with its berberine, you'll be doing your body a favor. Stay tuned, because next time we'll talk about two more plants that provide healthy weight loss solutions. Thanks for viewing our video. I hope it has given you some healthy ideas. Now, put them into action. Hope to see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.